Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today I'm building some adjustable trapeze systems for Hobie Tigers, and I thought it might be the sort of thing that you guys would like to see. So we're gonna take a look at what is required to build the adjustable trapeze system. This is what the end result is going to look like. We're gonna have, from the trapeze wire, a shackle onto the cleat. Then we'll have one rope, which is for the adjustment. And then a second rope, which holds the J and H through a double block to a dog bone. And that will go down to meet the elastic. Let's get on with it then. Okay, so here we've got everything that we need for the task. Uh, we've got the longer ropes for the adjustment. This is one meter 30 long. Then we've got the shorter ropes, which are gonna be tied onto the J and H's. This is 55 centimeters long. Four brand new cleats, four brand new dog bones, and four brand new double blocks. And then we've just got two balls, which will go on the end of the Helms trapeze adjuster. So let's put one together. We'll start off with the long part. We'll do this for the helm. So I'm just gonna start off by putting the rope onto the ball. Incidentally, this is six millimeter, quite a cheap rope with a polyester core, but the six mil gives you that confidence. It also gives you plenty to grab hold of. And then we'll just put a simple thumb knot in the end. The reason we're using the ball on the end of the helms adjusters is so that when you're holding it with one hand, your hand isn't likely to slip off the end. And then what we'll do is a hand's width for part, we'll put a second knot and that is gonna be the actual stopper the end of the range where it can go. We'll next take the cleat. The rope is gonna go up through the cleat. And we'll pull that through. So we've gone through the cleat. Then we'll take the double pulley we're going to go through the double pulley, back up to the cleat, through the hole at the bottom of the cleat there. And then we're just going to tie that with another thumb knot. So there's that part all done. The second part, we're going to take our J and H and the shorter rope. To tie the shorter rope onto the J and H, I'm just going to tie a thumb knot in the end. And then effectively, we're going to do the same again. Onto the part of the J and H with the rubber. And there we are, that's a very secure way to fasten that. And then what we'll do is we're gonna take that through the other part of that bottom block. But here I can see I've actually gone through the wrong way. If we go through the wrong way, it will basically present the adjustment to your wrong, the wrong hand, which we don't want to do. And then we're gonna take the dog bone. We use dog bones for this part because our boats are sailed by a variety of different people of different shapes and sizes. But on your own boat for this part, you could use another ball because you know which position you're going to want this in. But for us, this gets moved around quite a lot. So we'll thread this through the dog bone, the same that we would do with a 16 or any other boat.
and then we'll tuck that through there that's how we lock it and then we'll just tie a thumb knot in the end and that is what we're going to put the trapeze elastic onto okay so there we go there's one done and that will sit kind of like that so now i've just got another three to do and then we can put them onto the boat Okay, so there we go. Those bad boys are all done. Now I'll take them to the boat. Okay, so now we can fit the adjustable trapeze adjusters to the trapeze wires. I'll leave the trapeze wires attached to the shrouds just so they don't fly around. So I'm gonna take one of the ones which has got the ball on the end. Okay. And then there we go, we can just shackle that on there. Okay, and then we can attach the shock cord, which I've also tied onto the shroud. If you want to know about knots, check out the knots video. Oh yeah. Okay, and there we go. That one's all done. I'll just do the other ones. Okay, so there we go. They're all on. She's ready to go. Now all we need is a bit of wind. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been both interesting, informative and entertaining. There'll be more coming up soon on Joyrider TV for all of your catamaran sailing needs.